Hey folks, welcome to the rooftop. Trevor here. I've also got my lovely assistant Sophia to help me uh, to help me out with today's video. So what we're gonna do, you wanna hold that for me, Sophia? Is you know for most many home brewers when they first get started um, and then they, they get away from bottling, they start doing kegging, and then they want to do multiple kegs because they want to have lots of different beers that they have on tap at different times. And so you need some way of splitting out the gas or the CO2 that's going into those kegs. And so most folks will start off by using a manifold. Do you want to hold that up? So, you know, the manifold works great. Um, when you're getting started, it splits this out. And of course, you can turn the, uh, the valves off and on with the check valves. Uh, and I've used that for years and it works great. And, you know, the challenge uh, that I have had with the manifold is that more and more I am wanting to do different things with uh, CO2, like as an example, doing burst carbonation where you're taking your beer that you just brewed, you're turning up the PSI to you know, 30 PSI or maybe 50 PSI and letting that sit for a day or two, typically you know, two days for 30 PSI or maybe 24 hours or less for you know, 40 or 50 PSI to quickly carbonate that beer and then bring it back down to serving temperature and let it sit a few more days to settle out. Um, in order to do that, you know, with a manifold, you're gonna have to shut all the other valves off and then you don't have CO2 going into those beers at the, for that time. Uh, another thing that I've been doing more recently is uh, trying to really dial in the carbonation for different styles. You know, there's a reason why, as an example, a Belgian beer is more carbonated than other kinds of beers. So I'm wanting to really dial that in without over carbonating some of the other styles that I have on tap along with that. Sometimes I'll want to use CO2 to purge things or maybe doing a pressure transfer or moving beer from a keg to a bottle. And all of those require a variety of different levels of PSI to do that. So that's why I decided to move to the secondary regulator where I can have different pressures coming out of each one of these. So I'm going to walk you through uh, mounting this uh, into the kegerator. Thanks. First part of this project involves removing the old manifold from the collar so that I can place the, the two by four here that I will need to create some distance so that I have enough clearance for the gas lines coming off of the secondary regulator. So I'm gonna do that. Now that I have the manifold off, I'm gonna set the two by four there and I'm basically gonna put it right on this lip here and I'm gonna do that because I think I'm gonna to have to have this at the lowest point because these regulators, the, the, uh, the part that that uh, you're looking at the gauge, um, they stick up pretty high. So I wanna make sure that this can actually close. So now that I know with it, this at the bottom where it is, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I wanna actually mount the secondary regulators to the two by four. So let's have the regulators uh, lined up with the top of this board. And I'm just gonna mark right here where I'm gonna drill. And then on the bottom at the very highest point as well. I'm gonna drill those out and we'll go to the next step. So I marked these as you saw before with the regulator. I did some pilot holes and then went ahead and drilled these holes that are actually going to attach the secondary regulator to this board. And then I can see where to, I can put my mounting screws to put, mount this board to the collar. So I went ahead and drilled these all the way through the board, and then I'm gonna use these screws here, these longer screws, to actually mount this to the collar. So I've attached one mounting screw here, and then I'm just using the level here to make sure that this is level before I actually put the other mounting bolts in here. It looks like it's actually pretty good. I may raise that up just a smidge, but uh, it's not critical that this is exactly straight, but I like things to be nice and straight. So, uh, so we get that straight, and I went ahead and drilled through these these holes to make pilot holes on the collar behind it and so we can run those long bolts through there and get this thing mounted. Okay so we're finished. So I've got the secondary regulator on here. What I ended up doing was taking the secondary regulator off of the uh, mount and then adding the, the gas lines while it was off which made it a whole lot easier to navigate putting that on and adding the odor clamps. And I did do odor clamps. I've done hose clamps in the past, and I've just not had much luck with that. I've always had a lot of leaks. One of the other things that I ran into on this was this, uh, there was actually barbs on both ends of this secondary regulator. And my initial plan was to 
remove one of those barbs and add the cap that's on my manifold here. But the manufacturer did a great job of getting that really tight and there was just no way to get that without uh, potentially stripping the nut and I didn't want to do that. So what I ended up doing is adding a uh, cap here that I had from uh, some water uh, plumbing equipment, uh, added that there, put another clamp on that, clamp down the uh, gas line here on the barb, which seems to have done a pretty good job. I've checked it out and I don't have any leaks, so that's, that's great news. And so now I've got a couple of different pressures on, uh, got a couple different pressures on these different kegs and I've got this one free here to either add a, f a fourth tap later to my uh, keyser or to do some other things with this like um, you know some of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now I hope this was useful. Would love to hear from you all in the comments section of the video. If you enjoy these videos please subscribe to my channel and of course like the video and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.